hello everybody welcome to my latest video as always thank you for all the likes and subscribes and comments and everything else it's just amazing the response so thank you very much it means a lot i'm going to be painting quite small now i'm just uh in a canvas at the minute is 16 by 12 inch so i'm just going to start a bit of a horizon on the go not planned not thought out just doing it moving my arm about a bit the paint i'm using is on one corner of the bush is paint gray and on the other it's sap green with a bit of carmine red added onto it so with my long brush i'm just going to add some white gesso and just uh, churn up the horizon a bit make some shapes and patterns and things there we go so as usual i'm painting a la prima or at first attempt I nearly called it alopecia then but uh, it could be a new uh, art technique that i've uh, discovered alopecia painting there's a future in that but yeah a la prima at first attempt so basically i'll be starting and finishing now what you see i'm painting all in one go i don't paint for a bit and then come back days later and go again i uh, like to finish it on the spot and to me i think the the quickest painting is if i can do a painting in half an hour the more more enjoyable i don't know why we're just adding some nice features on the horizon a few rocks and trees and buildings oh, on the left hand side there on the horizon it's like uh, Kerber Edge again. I was talking about Kerber Edge in my uh, last painting I did. Yeah, the Kerber Edge in the Peak District. If you've ever visited, you'll know exactly what I mean. Just going to put some yellow in the distance and down through the foreground. Yeah, I used to have good times on Kerber Edge doing photography. Quite often I'd arrive in pitch black and then wait for the sun to come up. I remember my, my first time up there, and it was quite disorientating. The first time you go up when it's pitch black, I'd, um, I mean, this is like 10 years ago, set me a uh, tripod up. You know, facing to where I assume the sun was going to come up. And the bloody sun came up behind me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was, that was back when, uh, yeah, I used to make mistakes all the time in photography. You just learn from them. So yeah, I went, went to study photography, went and did my FDA and then my uh, BA, enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, I'd uh, do it all over again if I could. Yeah, just uh, adding a few... Uh, lines and uh, marks with my rake oh it's the most relaxing thing ever painting I'd recommend it to anyone it just uh, transports you elsewhere it takes your mind off everything it's lovely but 
particularly as I am now, I'm uh, listening to music as I paint. And it's really helps with the flow and you make some real fluid movements as you paint and you can get real lost in the zone and paint quite subconsciously if you listen to music when I paint I tend to listen to classical music using acrylic paint as always it dries very quick I haven't got the patience to wait for oil paint to dry but of course with it drying so quick acrylic is far less forgiving than oil paint Once you've made a mark, it's done then. Once it dries, you've had it pretty much. You know, with oil paint, you can uh, push the paint around for the next day if you want, you know, get the desired effect, make changes. And you can't with acrylic. Just uh, using my rake again, just put some lines on, a few shapes. Put some uh, interest on the horizon. good so far yeah I used to do a lot of landscape photography but I fell out with it a few years ago got very frustrated with it it was just a phase I went through but yeah I still love my photography most of my photography it's taken from a moving car There's the tube of paint, just scratching some marks in a few lines, suggestions of walls and paths. Do some more work on the sky. <coughs> Yeah, you have to excuse me, my throat's getting sore and sore. More talking I do. I've done a lot of talking the past couple of days. Just gonna add a bit of Payne's grey in there. used to fill me with dread sitting a blank canvas I used to sit and stare at it nothing had happened but I don't have that problem anymore it just gives, fills me with delight it makes my heart sing seeing a blank canvas and you wait in anticipation to see what appears on it The only way things will appear on it if you move your hand about and actually do some painting. I learned that staring at a canvas doesn't do anything. Just a gamble with a bit of yellow. That seems to be okay. Put 
bit more gesso as well. That's my palette. See the colour theory is all over the shop there. There'll be a lot of artists cringing when they see that palette. But it's just the way I work. Just a mess tin. More Payne's Grey. Now sometimes you get fed up with the horizon. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, you can just change it all of a sudden. I'm just getting rid of that plateau. It wasn't serving a purpose, it looked a bit boring. So just got rid of it. Just created some more anger in the sky. working it in yeah looking better already So I've only been painting 12 minutes or so and uh, got a nice got a nice picture already. Now I don't know about uh, that plateau on the right hand side. It doesn't quite look interesting enough. But we'll have a think, have a look at that, just do some more marks with my rake. Just about every move I make is, is a mistake. Oh, there we are, a bit of a road or a hedge. It's a little, uh, little bold, so I'm just going to take the edge off a little bit. There we are, it's a bit too straight, but uh, yeah, we can uh, alter that a bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Sometimes mistakes are the best. Yeah, I don't know, It's it looks a bit flat, that plateau. But uh, well, we'll see. Because it's kind of mimicking the plateau on the left. Yeah, a bit looks like a bit of a repetition. But uh, we'll we'll see. We'll plod on. marks in the foreground a few 
few nice accidental uh, trees and buildings. Yeah, I quite like the, the plateau on the left. I can live with that. Not too bad. Yeah, that, um, that edge on the right. I might change it. I might not. I'll just see how we get on. Just add in a bit more detail. Here we are, some fine details in the distance. Could be buildings, could be trees, who knows. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, you know, it is lacking something. I'm going to sort out that edge on the right. Do some a little drastic, make a bit of a statement. Ah, yes. Now it's suddenly broken up the horizon for me. That's a bit better. That's more like it. It did look a bit flat. Well... Oh, it's more like it, yeah. That reminds me of um, the roaches. Just on the Staffordshire border, between Buxton and Leek. That's more like it, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Yes, I think we're almost just about there. What a difference. Just one little move makes. So, uh, yeah, I've kind of got that feeling that it's finished. Just about. So, thank you so much for watching, as always. Don't forget, um, you can see my work on my website, johnkid.co.uk. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, of course. Just put John Kid Art or junkied artist into a search engine and yeah just uh, put some little finishing touches on yeah it's amazing how just one move of a paintbrush can uh, transform your work so yeah getting that instinctive sensation that it's finished let's put a little uh, rock up there a few little bits and bobs yeah pleased with that thank you so much and i'll see you for the next video thank you for watching stay safe